This is April's edition of Surviving Middle School. My name is Paul Schroll, and I'm assistant principal at Jefferson Middle School. And I'm Lori Pritchard, assistant principal at Northeast Middle School. Great. Well, we have some tips for you that we're going to share. And um, today's edition will focus on communication. Communication is paramount. Um, a lot of communication uh, between parent and child and teacher at the elementary school, we know that that is in place. Well, it doesn't end when you uh, enter middle school. As a matter of fact, it becomes uh, even more important. As a middle schooler, these children, soon to be young adults, are preparing for high school. And so um, Mrs. Pritchard and mm -hmm. I, uh, part of our job is to keep that line of communication open. And so we have some tips for you here today. One of the first things is to become very, very familiar with Home Access Center. Home Access Center is a feature that's an online program that allows parents to, number one, check the demographic information and be sure that all of the phone numbers, emails, address, everything like that is, is accurate. That's important because um, we have an automated dialer system, for example, that every night past 4 o'clock p.m., it automatically dials any student who had a coded absence for that day. Mm -hmm. So if a student was tardy for first hour, then the automated dial dialer would call home and notify the family that there was a uh, code of tardy for first hour. Um, so that is important to keep updated. One of the other features of the Home Access Center is that it allows uh, parents to see the student's current schedule and next semester schedule, and also to have a list of the student's grades. And um, certainly that is very, very important to know on a week-by-week -week basis how students are doing. And, um, and that's available online and can be accessed here um, at the public library if there's not computer or internet at home by a smartphone and um, by most other internet devices such as laptop or computer. Certainly. Um, parents, it's very important for you to take advantage of the form of communication that uh, best suits uh, your abilities as well as the one that you feel most comfortable with. We have teachers who use Twitter. We have teachers that use uh, an app that's called Remind that is a text and an email uh, combination. We have, stu we have teachers that use Moodle, and so that's a uh, web-based uh, way to communicate. And then we have some teachers that use a good old-fashioned paper pencil, and they provide a syllabus at the beginning of the year um, that describes the class uh, that they have uh, with your child. It, uh, my suggestion for you is if, uh, if a teacher has a syllabus, that you ask for an extra copy. Often the teacher asks for you to read it over, look at it. If you have questions, you ask those questions, and then you sign it and you send it back. Um, and so it's often uh, a benefit, I think, to uh, have a copy of that so that you don't have to remember what, what you read. You can actually have a copy and, and review that as necessary. One of the other things that the teachers might include in the syllabus um, are access codes to um, internet books mm -hmm. and internet texts. A lot of the times, um, the at least back in the day, mm -hmm. um, I would say to my parents, if I forgot my book, I can't do my homework because my book is in my locker. Well, today's day and age, you don't need to have your book at home to do your homework because there's online resources and often a full text available to you on the internet is so long as you have a passcode. And that information is usually contained within a syllabus um, or is given out within the first week of school. So that's another piece of communication that's very vital um, in the first week or so of school. Certainly. Uh, our next topic is planners. Your student, <coughs> whether they're at Northeast or Jefferson, is provided a planner. Now students can benefit from the use of the planner greatly. It really provides a, uh, a three-way communication, parent, student, and the teacher, uh, so that they can collectively um, communicate about daily assignments, about <coughs> upcoming uh, projects. Um, if, the, if a teacher has a concern, they can share it through the planner. Student uh, or uh, parent can share information back to the teacher. Uh, it's a great way to stay organized. Um, an organization is a skill for middle schoolers that we really want to have in place by the time that we, they leave and become high schoolers. Um, there's a lot of extra information in the planners, uh, s general school information. Um, the phone number for in, the home or the attendance hotline. Yep, important numbers, dates. Uh, there's also a copy of the student handbook, which is always a uh, benefit to have. Uh, we like the students to and parents to uh, always have a copy of that. Um, 
Something else that I think is very important um, for students is that they, um, as they work through the planner system and they develop their own strategy to uh, keep their uh, assignments uh, organized, possibly then having a parent sign it, a teacher can sign it. It's a, it's a great way to, for everyone to be on the same page. And so I think the planner is a mm -hmm. great opportunity mm -hmm. to develop that. And it's fairly private. The, the students aren't sharing their planners mm -hmm. and what is written. And so uh, parents can feel free to write a note to the teacher, uh, whether um, it's about uh, praising. So we, of course, we celebrate um, uh, uh, good things that happen, and uh, or it's, if it's a concern. So it's it's always a great way to share. And communication is just it's going to be the best way to avoid. Um, misinformation, which I think can lead to a student having a missed assignment or a poor assignment. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just want to promote that as best we can. The planner is one of the things that parents can use for a two-way communication. Um, and as you were saying, Mr. Schroll, um, you know, if they use it every hour for all the cores or all their classes and they write what that daily assignment is, 90% of our teachers write what the assignment is right on the board every day. Mm -hmm. And if they copy that down verbatim and then um, the parents are looking at it as well and requiring, let me see that homework assignment, it's a great tool and really a great communication piece as long as it's used every day. It, mm -hmm. The consistency is definitely an important variable. Certainly. Um, the other thing that we um, had in, before we conclude is just simply the um, old standby, just talk to the teachers directly. Um, whether that be through calling and leaving a voice message mm -hmm. or an email, a lot of the teachers are very willing to meet with you on their conference and prep before or after school. And just as well, a lot of the teachers provide those same opportunities for the kids. So is there anything else that you want to add about of talking with teachers? Well, I think that we have hit the three very most important pieces of communication from school to home and from home to school. And that is um, home access center, uh, the planner use, and then finally, uh, just getting to know your teacher. And so whether you volunteer in the building or whether you uh, have time to communicate with the teacher, we just know that that is going to be the best way for you to stay connected to what's happening at school. And then that's the best way to set your child up for success. That wraps it up for April's edition of Surviving Middle School.